The Hee Haw cast featured a large range of actors, including already famous actors, up-and-coming actors, and even former Playboy bunnies. At the time it aired, the most popular show on the network was Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a comedy that featured popular music and pop culture. When Hee Haw aired on June 5, 1969, the creators knew their show needed to be original enough to draw in new viewers, while also being similar enough to Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In to compete. Instead of focusing on pop culture and modern music, Hee Haw featured classic corn pone humor and country music. Overall, the show was a huge success. After its initial season, it ran for 25 more and aired a total of 665 episodes until it eventually ended December 27, 1997. In today's video, we're going to delve into the show's many amazing cast members and take a look at their contributions to the show as well as what they're up to today. Buck Owens Buck Owens was one of the two hosts of Hee Haw. Alongside Roy Clark, Buck Owens hosted the show until 1986 when he decided to pursue other things. He first found his love of performing when he was a young boy, when he began performing in school plays during the Dust Bowl and Great Depression. He then taught himself to play several different instruments, including drums, guitar, and mandolin. He fronted the band Buck Owens and the Buckaroos, which landed 21 number one hits on the Billboard country music charts. They also became known for pioneering the Bakersfield genre of country. He was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and won countless accolades for his work. After ending his work on Hee Haw, Buck Owens continued to make music and was active until his death in 2006 when he suffered a heart attack. Barbie Benton Barbie Benton was a famous Playboy bunny and the girlfriend of Hugh Hefner when she joined the cast of Hee Haw. She started her modeling career at age 16, and when she turned 18 years old, she was asked to appear on the show Playboy After Dark. She was originally only a small character, but Hugh Hefner soon became entranced by her. The two started dating, and she became the show's co-host. She's also famous for convincing Hugh to purchase the Playboy Mansion in 1974. Barbie Benton first appeared on Hee Haw in 1969 and remained on the show for four seasons. She was often dressed in typical farmer's daughter outfits, which were usually quite revealing. She wasn't just a model and actress, however. She also worked as a songwriter and recorded several albums in the 70s. In the 1980s, however, she settled down with a man named George Gradow, and Benton retired to take care of their two children. Junior Samples Junior Samples joined the cast of Hee Haw when the show was first created. He curated a bumping personality, humorously messing up jokes and even forgetting lines. He was a hilarious and beloved part of the show and provided a lot of comedic sketches. He and his wife, Grace Carey Bolton, had five children, all of whom appeared on the show at least once. Junior Samples stayed on the show for 14 years, but in 1983, he died of a heart attack when he was just 57. Loretta Lynn the legendary singer-songwriter Loretta Lynn became the first guest star to ever appear on Hee Haw and would soon become the most frequent guest star as well. While not an official cast member, she co-hosted the show frequently and made a lasting impact. She also helped to draw in more viewers, ensuring the show's long-lasting success. Not only is Loretta Lynn still alive today, but she's continuing her career as a musician. She's already worked in the music field for over six decades, but she shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. At age 89, Loretta hasn't lost her passion for singing classic country and honky-tonk. However, her old age is catching up to her, and after suffering a stroke and then breaking her hip, Lynn had to stop touring in 2018. Still, she hasn't stopped making music, and it's unlikely she'll quit her passion until the day she dies. Roy Clark Roy Clark hosted Hee Haw alongside Buck Owens for the entirety of the show's long run. He was a highly influential musician and helped make the genre of country music popular in America. He first found fame on TV after appearing in variety shows while performing as a guitarist and singer. He even debuted on The Tonight Show in 1963. He earned the coveted title of Entertainer of the Year not once but three times throughout his life. After hosting Hee Haw with Buck Owens, Roy Clark continued to make music until his death in 20. 18 when he suffered pneumonia. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around till the end because we're going to reveal how one cast member was brutally murdered. Ann Randall Ann Randall was the second Playboy bunny to make her way into the cast of Hee Haw. She began her career as a teen when she became a regular on the show KPIX Dance Party. After that, she decided to pursue TV more seriously and appeared on a variety of shows, including The Rockford Files, Barnaby Jones, and Cannon. She was also a cast member of Hee Haw for two years. After the 70s, however, Randall decided she was done working in modeling and television and married a man named Dick Stewart. Now, at age 74, she lives a quiet life out of the public eye. Grandpa Jones 
Lewis Marshall Jones was known professionally as Grandpa Jones. The banjo player and country music singer was playing from a very young age, but became especially famous on Hee Haw. He was born into a family of 10 children, and both his parents were very musical. Naturally, he decided to get involved in music himself. He sang on radio shows throughout his teenage years. Surprisingly, he earned the name Grandpa Jones at a very young age. When he was 22, he was so grumpy in the mornings before performing radio shows, people began calling him Grandpa Jones. He later began performing at the Grand Ole Opry and was later asked to join the cast of Hee Haw. He died just a year after the show ended in 1997 at age 84. Minnie Pearl Minnie Pearl was a country theater, dance, and comedy performer who appeared at the Grand Ole Opry for five decades. She was born Sarah Colley, but created the character Minnie Pearl for her comedy routines. She was famous for her signature greeting, where she shouted, And she'd finish off every show with, I love you so much it hurts. Minnie Pearl made her first TV appearance on Ozark Jubilee and was soon asked to appear on Hee Haw as well. She stayed on the show until 1991 when she suffered a horrible stroke that ended her career. She spent the rest of her life in a nursing home and famous country musicians and performers paid her frequent visits until her death in 1996. She also battled aggressive breast cancer for several years and became a spokeswoman for cancer research later in life. And the Minnie Pearl Cancer Foundation was created to honor her after her death. David Stringbean Aikman David Aikman, also known as Stringbean, was one of the most beloved actors on Hee Haw. Like many of the other cast members, he was also a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Stringbean had a varied career and worked as a musician, singer-songwriter, actor, comedian, and even semi-professional baseball player. He balanced his music and his comedy well, letting audience members laugh at jokes while also wowing them with his banjo playing. He also had one of the most memorable costumes on the show. He tucked a long nightgown into a short pair of pants, so it looked like he had very short legs and a very long torso. Aikman performed for four years on Hee Haw and would have continued for many more, but on the night of November 10, 1973, tragedy struck. He and his wife had finished performing at the Grand Ole Opry and returned to their lovely home in Tennessee. Only a few hours later, burglars entered the house and murdered both Aikman and his wife as they plundered their house. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you more surprised to learn that Loretta Lynn is still making music or that a former Playboy bunny retired early to raise her children? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.